operations themselves. I don't know exactly, but, but through the cruise line, uh, you can probably figure out how to contact the terminal operations. Okay. You know, if your name is on the bag somehow. Yes. Okay, so you'll probably just have to give them a good description of the bag. So go through Princess. And, uh, I would do that, yeah, and just be in touch with the terminal personnel. Yeah. So I'm going to step down and get out of your way here. So this A-frame structure, there is one that looks exactly like it on the other side of the mountain at the other end of the tunnel. And a boulder during that 1964 earthquake, a boulder came down and damaged one, the outside of one of these A-frame structures. And that's it in that 1964 earthquake. And that will come a little bit more into perspective as we talk more about the significant damage. So you can see that the uh, pavement is at the same level as the railroad tracks as we're entering the tunnel. That is one of the modifications that had to be done in order to allow vehicles to be able to utilize the tunnel as well. Prior to the year 2000, it was only railroad traffic in the tunnel. And in the year 2000, uh, the uh, modifications were completed and the tunnel was able to be open to vehicle traffic as well. Everybody's remembering to breathe, right? Nobody's holding their breath. And one of the first experiences that we're going to have in the tunnel is we're going to get a chance to listen to uh, for the turbines. There are turbines that are ventilating the tunnel on each end, and the first set of turbines is going to be coming up at this first set of green lights. So we'll I'll be quiet. We can listen and see if we can hear the turbines. Turbines were quiet, That no reason for concern. They don't run constantly, only as needed to ventilate the tunnel. But again, one of the other modifications that had to be done in order for vehicles to be able to utilize the um, tunnel is that uh, it had to be able to be ventilated so that there wasn't an issue with carbon monoxide. 